Hello friends, welcome to MATLAB and automotive channel. In today's video, we will discuss about Simulink Design Verifier or we can say SLDV. So friends, this SLDV is basically a verification tool which will help you to identify the hidden design errors in a model. The errors such as integer overflow or dead logic or divide by zero or uh, algebraic loop error. This uh, SLDV it also auto generates the test cases so that uh, we can achieve hundred percent coverage. So let's start with this SLDV. Friends, here we are having the Viper mechanism subsystem, which we have developed in part one of ML. It consists of a ignition key, a knob which will turn on the Viper mechanism or a rain sensor which will give the input to wiper mechanism so here i am using and operator the data type for this and operator is a boolean and it requires all inputs and outputs to have same data type similar settings for or operator and the configuration parameters in configuration parameter we are having the solver settings as a type fixed step discrete and sample time of 0.1 okay so to perf to use SLDV, select your subsystem, right click on it, and go to Design Verifier. So it will ask you to convert your subsystem into atomic unit. Okay, so again go to Block Parameter Subsystem and treat it as an atomic unit apply okay now again right click on your subsystem go to design verifier select options so here in case of mode we are having three modes design error detection test generation and property proving today we'll discuss two components design error detection and test generation so select design error detection and check the subsystem compatibility apply Okay, so subsystem is quite compatible. Close it and we'll detect the error. So there is no error. You can check this uh, report detail analysis report and here in this detail analysis report or we can say SLDV design verifier re report we are having the summary and analysis information so it provides you the summary and the analysis information okay so here we have uh, this uh, SLDV okay tries to detect the errors such as integer overflow 
division by zero and so on okay so everything uh, looks fine so now we'll create one error and after that we'll check the execution so here we are having the uh, port okay uh, input for ignition key i will change the data type so i will convert it into unit it apply okay and now we'll go to design verifier again options and we'll look for the errors now so detect error of subsystem and here you can observe we got the error okay hmm? here we got the error so close it resolve your error And now, one more time, go to design verifier and check the errors. Okay, so it's good to have no error. Right? okay so now we'll generate the test cases so select the test generation option one more time check the compatibility apply okay so model is compatible now generate test and here SLDV will generate the test cases for you. Okay. So here you, we are having the option create harness model. Just click on it. So it has created the harness model and written the test cases for you. So these are the test cases. These are auto generated test cases. Then here we are having the test case explanation document. Just double click on it and you can observe that the test cases are briefed for individual operator and uh, port so here the test cases are written for considering or operator or logical operator and logical operator so this is the hardness generated by sldv then here you can simulate the test and produce model coverage report so here coverage report is generated so sldv has generated the uh, test cases in such a way that you are achieving 100% coverage 
then detailed coverage and analysis is provided then you can hi uh, go to highlight analysis results on model so it will highlight the coverage result analysis on your model then you can have the detailed analysis report so it will generate the detailed uh, detailed analysis report with the summary analysis information test objective status model items and test cases so summary is provided analysis information is provided model information analysis options are given then test objective status for individual operator considering the ports and the test cases so here we are having the test cases so these are the, the details of test cases and generated input data so this is the detailed verification report provided by SLDV you can export these test cases to Simulink test it will ask you to browse okay and you can save these files of test cases again you can save this harness or once you will go to close okay it will ask you to save so yes so here You can observe the SLDV output where the test hardness is saved. Okay, guys, so this is how this SLDV will help you to identify the problems, errors uh, while developing the model, and it will help you to auto generate the test cases for your subsystem or your unit model so i hope you will like comment and share this video guys please do subscribe this channel thank you